Well, I think we had a very strong 2013, and we're very happy with our start to 2014 uh, with a very solid Q1. Uh, top line revenue grew 16%. It was driven by very strong licensing performance. Uh, we signed 26 new licenses in the quarter, uh, and that's helped drive very strong uh, licensing revenue up 37% uh, year on year. So 26 uh, new licensing deals, how sustainable is that? given, of course, the fact that we've got this massive change in computing technology away from these, the sort mm -hmm. of laptops and PCs, towards these, which are essentially tablet devices. How are you positioned to try and gain the benefits, the opportunities that this offers? Uh, well, in terms of the sustainability of our licensing model, I mean, the, the last few years have shown that licensing has been very strong in a sustained way. Uh, 26 uh, licenses signed in a quarter is not unusual for us um, and reflects... The, the breadth to which ARM technology is being used. I mean, actually, in the quarter, very few of those licenses were signed for mobile devices. Uh, that market is, is relatively mature. There's some very established players there. Um, and uh, ARM technology accounts for more than 95% of uh, mobile devices. So how are you positioning yourself for growth in the future? If you're already largely present in these kind of devices, mm -hmm. where's the growth going to be coming from? Are we talking about mass market cheaper devices you're going to position yourselves in that end of the segment or the more expensive end well growth for us uh, is going to come from multiple dimensions I mean in the mobile segment if you look at smartphones uh, there's a lot of changes going on um, smartphones are kind of categorized in, into different uh, product segments uh, there's the very high premium end um, mid-range and entry-level devices and there is a huge growth in the volume of those uh, less expensive devices and we see that as a great thing uh, we're seeing uh, much lower cost uh, semiconductor devices going into phones, which means that smartphones can be priced at below $50 unsubsidized. And that's uh, enabling huge volumes of new consumers to, to get access to smartphones for the first so time. So that's the key end of the market that you're targeting, is it? Uh, well, we, we're targeting many different end markets, uh, but, but it's an area where we see... But if you had to put all your eggs see... in one basket, which one would it be? Now, I'm sure as a CEO, you probably say, no, I'd never put my eggs in one basket, <laughs> Nina. But if you had to choose... Which one would it be? Would it be expensive smartphones, or bigger, cheaper mass market smartphones? Where's the industry going for you? I think for, for ARM, it's all about volume. It's about pervasiveness of our architecture. Um, so we see that growth of the entry-level smartphones as a really uh, exciting um, phenomena that's going on right now. It's going to drive more units. It's going to drive more data being uh, transmitted across the network. That's driving an adoption of ARM technology in um, network infrastructure equipment. Um, and it's going to drive uh, connected things that um, smartphones can control. And we're already starting to see that in developed markets. Uh, and I think we'll see new categories of products uh, in emerging markets as well. Now, one of the things that's driving this major transition away from sort of big pieces of hardware towards mobile devices is also the advent of disruptive social media technologies, Twitter, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. Now, a number of these companies have listed very generous valuations on the stock markets. You've been listed as a tech company for quite some time. You have lived through the bubble yourself, I'm sure, yep. as we all have. Is there another one brewing in the tech world? Oh, it's hard to say. I mean, the market's going to price companies, um, not, not the companies themselves. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens by way of, of uh, bubble, whether there is one or not. I mean, for us... Um, you know, we're a highly profitable company, we're cash generative, um, we have a high PE uh, relative to a lot of companies, uh, but when we look at the strength of our business and the opportunities ahead of us, uh, you know, we're, we're comfortable with our future prospects.